what is this? 1867. Day 18 of this trip. I know that the video says, what, day 17 or whatever. That's because I missed a day when I was uh, doing nothing over in Newfoundland. But I've been gone 18 days today. And I'm on the way home now. I'm going to be gone 20 days in total on this trip. I'm going to be home on the 17th on Saturday. I'm going to ride my motorbike before the summer's over. <laughs> enjoy it for a little bit yet. Right, Diesel? What are you doing back there? It's just passed out. Lazy. So we just started our day. We're here in North Carolina. Just got on the freeway. Where are we? We're on I-40 West here. And I don't know what city we're going through. We're going through some kind of city here. And, uh, yeah. Day has begun. Today, I don't know how far we'll make it. We got about 28 hours of driving to get home, so we're gonna drive the full 11 today and see where we're at. All right, I think we're in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I think that's where we are. Some kind of big freeway here, so we gotta be in some kind of city, eh? And my hood is squeaking again. It keeps wearing through the socks I put on there. Gotta get tougher socks or something. In 1.9 kilometers, take exit 206 on right to I 40 branch. Alrighty, you heard her. Now you know where we are. I don't know where I am. Glad you know, Mandy, because I have no idea. All I know is this road right here is mine. This lane is mine. No one can take it away. Pretty sure it's Winston Salem. So it's gonna be a rush kind of day today. No time for that much stop. We're gonna take our half hour break halfway through the day. And that's it. Got a got a boogie. Hammer down. Take exit 206 on right to I 40 branch. Alrighty, will do. Wait a second. Why do you want me to take? one. Shouldn't I stay on the I-40, the regular one? This is leading me downtown. Where are you bringing me, Mandy? I don't want to go downtown. What are you doing? Continue 20 kilometers on I-40 branch. You're messing with me, Mandy. If you lead me downtown, I'm going to be very upset with you. I'm going to have to change, change the voice on here then to someone else. Turning on to US 52. Why are you taking me off the interstate? I trust you, whatever. I don't know if you're screwing me over. All right, so I just double checked Mandy's work here and it seems like she knows what she's doing. She's taking me through a shortcut on US Highway 52 from the I-40, it's gonna spit me out and the I-74. Makes me nervous when she takes these shortcuts. What are you doing? But it is a freeway the entire way. It's a US highway, but it's just not an interstate. It's, it's gonna be a freeway, the same thing, so whatever. Whatever, as long as I don't gotta slow down or stop. Very upset with you, Mandy. I look like a low bridge. Thanks. I squeaked under there. Alright Mandy, I see downtown here. I don't know what you're doing. Take exit 6B on right to US 52 North. Alright, if you say so. Better not get me in a pickle. Tell you what, I don't even like pickles. It's sour and disgusting. Like a rotten cucumber. Alright, what city is this? Knows. Cities everywhere. Way too many cities to keep track of them all. I probably passed a couple of signs I wasn't paying attention. Gotta make sure I don't end up in one of them pickles. Get out of this lane. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coming through. Drive 50 kilometers on US 52 North. Alrighty then. We'll drive that. We will. Well, I have a choice now. Can't 
stop on the freeway. Martin Luther King Drive, downtown. I don't think this is, this town is called Martin Luther King. There's a Winston Tower, so maybe this is Salem and Winston, Winston or Winston or. Oh. There's a lot of Martin Luther King drives in the states. Like every city has one. Every one that I suppose through at least. Very famous dude. All right, so it's getting bumpy. It must mean we're back in Virginia. I think this is the original Virginia, because West Virginia is the new Virginia, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know, someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Here we go, let's see what West Virginia's got for us. West Virginia, Virginia. I can't say anything right. They painted the lines so close together there going up the hill so and fast forward it looks like you're just screaming down the highway eh? <laughs> doesn't it feel like you're going so slow now in real time uh, oh well yeah so that was uh, I-77 northbound starting at the North Carolina border going north obviously so, nice little mountain range there well I don't know if this is the kerfluffle or not just a vehicles parked on the shoulder here oh, that guy's not very damaged all right these guys both seem to be just parked oh no he got some Schmucked up there a little bit. His front grill was a little bit all messed up. And there is construction. It's construction. It's not that. You know what that is? Those trucks there? Somebody probably stopped in this traffic without putting their four ways on, and the guy behind him had no idea everyone was stopping. And kaboom! Rear ended him. That's exactly why I just told you put on your four ways when traffic comes to a stop. If you're at the back of the lineup. Otherwise, that happens. Especially if you're driving a truck, but any vehicle. If you're driving a big truck, I mean, people can't see around you. They don't know you're coming to a complete stop. Even if your brake lights come on, so you're slowing down a bit. They don't know you're actually stopping on the freeway or on the highway. That's why four ways are a good idea. As those guys are going to be stuck there for like three hours now doing paperwork and making a report and calling a body shop trying to arrange when they're gonna get their truck fixed and that's all lost time that's all lost money even if no one gets hurt it's your pockets hurt if someone gets hurt that's just makes it all the worse even more paperwork then I hate paperwork well diesel you ready for a tunnel? You ready? Oh, but we go super fast through the tunnel. Yeah? Super fast. Hang on. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Back there, did you? That was fast. 
Look at that, just like that, spits us out into West Virginia. Could have gone faster through that tunnel, but this little black car here was scared of the dark. Oh, hey look, Celadon. Too bad it's not Jerry. Hello, Jerry's friend. Well, Diesel, we're in West Virginia. It's like Virginia, but Western. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. You never laugh at my jokes. West Virginia, yes. It's like Virginia, but more hilly. The hills are bigger. Oh, here they call them mountains. I'm not convinced. I've said it many times, but uh, if you don't got snow on top of your mountains, it's not a mountain. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. You've been misled for a very long time. They're very big hills, very scenic here. I love driving through here. We're on uh, the I-77, just met up with the I-64. And uh, it was a toll road up until now. But, yeah, we're still trucking along. We are 2,200 kilometers from home. That is just under 1,400 miles. See that diesel? I just did that math on the top of my head. Yeah, you impressed? Yeah. I'm impressed. Help me out here. It's about 1400, I think. And you know, we're not going to make it home today. Oh no. No. Probably not going to make it home tomorrow either. Probably it is August 15th today. We'll probably make it home on the 17th, which is Saturday. Which is fine. I'm hoping to get home in time to go to a bike show in Winnipeg with a friend of mine. Don't make it then uh it's too bad i don't know i'm still gonna go riding might just be late so we'll check it out other than that yeah we're slowly putting along we're making it I'm not too sure i'm hoping to get close to chicago tonight i guess we'll find out probably not gonna make it that far all right guys indianapolis indiana this is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight so a little bit of a different kind of end of day, but I haven't found a place to park yet, so I figured I'd just do the end of day now. Thanks for joining me today. It was a very scenic, very... seven kilometers. Take exit 53A on right to I-65 North. Thank you for the interruption, Mandy. Why not? One more just to end the day off. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.